We just got our normal cube here. So you're gonna go seven, look over top, scale on the X, scale on the Y, you know, to wherever you want it really. One, tab, grab Z, go up. Just doing this so I can move the origin. Control A, apply all transforms. Back to edit. Let's look over top. Grab that face. I to inset. There we go. Now it's nice and even. And we're going to go down. E to extrude down. Something like that. All right. Got a little bit of a bed, garden bed. That's good for the bed for now. I'm just going to grab this, move it out of the way. We're going to add a new. Yeah, I'll do a cube. Okay. Edit, grab, move that up to move the origin to the bottom. Side view, slash to select this object only. Okay, we're gonna scale this on the Y. So what we're gonna do here is make some of the, I guess the leaves for the plant. This is gonna be the start of our leaf. Okay, we're gonna go into edit. So control R to loop cut. Uh, up on the mouse wheel to add a few segments. Then we're gonna go the other way. I think three should do it. Oh, so we're going to turn on proportional editing up here. Let's go into x-ray mode first because we want to grab the uh, both the vertices. I'm going to grab this and we're going to just kind of work this in the way of a leaf. So you can scroll with your wheel to change where um, the area that your grab will affect. Grab edges so here, G, Y, and just kind of pull it back a little bit. Not too much. We're just going to kind of give it that round leaf cup shape. Turn off proportional editing. Get out of X-ray mode. Control 2 to add our subdivision. Kind of play around with this a little bit more. Get that shape we want. Grab, just kind of rotate this down, maybe to like a 45. We're gonna duplicate this and then join them together at the end. Shift D, R to rotate. Maybe I'll scale it down just a little so they vary slightly. Shift D again, R to rotate. Maybe we can scale this one on the Y just to kind of give them a little bit of a, of a variety. One Shift D, rotate. Scale this one. We're going to exclude the Z axis. I'm just going to scale this one on the X. Kind of get a shape we like. We're just going to fine tune this a little bit before we move on. We're going to add some middle ones. Three, rotate that up like this. And I think I want the ones in the middle to be kind of skinnier. And maybe a little taller scale on the Z duplicate that maybe move it over here go over top rotate it around duplicate this again rotate it around we'll move it and just to give them a little bit of variety let's slightly scale these differently slightly upward we'll move it out so we don't get that clipping that looks decent so we got the basic part down. Now this is sort of where all the fun comes in with the modifiers and we're really gonna kind of bring it to life here. Let's apply all these modifiers so I can join this into one item. So all I'm doing is clicking. If you hover over the modifier and you hit control A, it will automatically apply that. But that's not horrible, that looks good. Now we're gonna join these together. Uh, highlight all of them, control J. Let's name this guy plant. We have plant. Now I'm just going to fix this origin slightly. So uh, select your object, up top object, set origin, origin to geometry. That'll kind of center it. Now what I'm going to do is um, shift S, selection to cursor. That'll bring it in the middle. Now we're going to pull up uh, edit mode, grab all with, select all with A, grab and move it up on the Z right there. Maybe for ease of video, I'll just go into shading. Get rid of this stuff. I'm going to add a new material. New material. Let's say plant. Okay. Green. So we're going to turn up the roughness to get rid of that sheen or glossy. 
And you could even turn down the specular a little bit. A little darker, maybe. Now I'm going to show you guys how to do this black outline effect. You can go back into layout, hold Z, we're going to see material preview. Now from here, the properties on the left, so you guys get a better view of them. Okay, from here, we're going to add new material slot. Okay, this new material, we're going to hit new. This is going to be our outline. We're going to use this outline for the plant and the box. Okay, we're going to change this to an emission. We're going to turn on back face culling. We're going to change the color from white to black. We want a black outline, whatever outline you want, just change the color. We're going to leave everything else. Now we're going to go into our modifiers. We're going to add a solidify modifier. Normals, we're going to flip the normals. We're going to go to materials, material offset. So this is uh, which material you're selecting. So material zero is our green, material one is going to be our outline. So here's our outline. Now you can barely see it. What I like to do is change this offset to one so you don't lose um, the thickness of the item you made. Now you can play around with the thickness of the outline here. There's our fun little outline effect and you can follow that around Shift S, selection the cursor. Now let's work on this box. Okay, so Alt, Shift, and Edge, that'll select everything around it. So all your edges. Now we're gonna bevel this. Control B, drag your cursor. Just a little. Now that's all we want. Okay, we're gonna go into shading. So we're gonna have a few slots on this. We're gonna have our brown, our dirt, our outline, and our emission outline, the effect that black outline effect. So four slots, material one. I'm just gonna change this base material. That's kind of woody enough. Now wood, we're gonna turn the roughness up. Wood isn't that glossy. Slot one done. Now we're gonna do slot two. Now we gotta select all those beveled edges that we created. Okay, I think that's all of it. Slot two, assign. I'm gonna make a new material. This is gonna be black. And turn this down, make it real black, roughness all the way up. Okay, that is that. Now we are going to do the dirt. Line here, slot three, new material. Call this dirt. Brown, dark brown. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to go to layout, material preview, and we're going to add that emissions effect. To the box we already made that material we're just going to add it select your object material properties we have this material set we are just going to select this and pick our outline so that's already done for us we used it we set it up on the plant and now it's on our box as well modifier same thing um, solidify normals flip materials it's now going to be, I think, three. The fourth material, zero counts as one. Three. Okay, now you just can't see it yet. We're going to offset this to one, and there we go. So here's a little bit of that effect. We grab this. Let's raise this up a little bit. Duplicate on the x-axis. We'll go here. Duplicate x. Duplicate x. And maybe we'll move this one, GX, three, one, rotate so it's not sticking out. Rotate. We could even scale this one down, rotate this one, scale it. Let's go object, set origin to geometry. Now we can rotate this. Kind of want this to be the opposite way of the one beside it. That's nice. Look at that. Now we can combine everything. I don't want the light in there. Boom, J. And our object origin is nice. We now have a nice little planter box for you guys to use.